Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nugat21. Welcome back to Let's Play Nocturne HD Remaster. In the last episode, we opened up the way to the fifth Calpa and started exploring the fourth. Got a shit ton of treasure for our troubles as well. Most excellent. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just checking my, uh, skills here. Hmm. I am missing one vital one, but we're gonna have to make do. For in today's episode, we shall head down to the 5th Kalpa. Or to be more specific, try to head to the 5th Kalpa, because we got a roadblock in terms of a boss fight. <laughs> yes, in a turn of events, we're gonna get a boss fight before we can go down. Hooray! Uh. Killing Beelzebub was necessary to access the rest of the fourth Kalpa to get rid of all the cursed bullshit. So he was technically necessary, but this one is a roadblock. Before I go though, let's head to Ginza. I need to head to Rags to see if he sells Dekunda rocks. Well, actually, hang on. Do I actually need Dekunda? Let me check. Oh wait, yes I do. Cause I this this boss fight sticks out like a sore thumb. Really? What are you going to do? You stupid two-headed dog! Get out of my face! And I just realized I do not have anyone else in the party. That's funny. I would love to see someone do a solo challenge. It'd be a colossal pain in the dick. Ah, welcome. Take a look. Okay, do you have, uh... No, you don't. We have the casual rocks. That's not necessary. Anything. Oh, this is annoying, and I don't think I have anyone that has Dikunda. Really? How did we miss the fucking skull? That was embarrassing. We're at least 40 levels higher than the damn thing, and you miss. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. Uh, let me check something real fast here. N short answer is no. Oh. All right. Okay, I thought I could use the Matamas to, um... Use the Matamas to get to Kunda, but none of them have it. So, I mean, I think one might have it. I would just need to level them up so they have all their skills, but uh, fuck that. All right. Wait a minute. I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to use them in Sacrificial Fusion to get skills. I think that's how that works. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? Get out of here! Oh, you fucking piss ants. Okay, well, this was a waste of. Sheesh, what is this encounter rate that I'm having right now? Do I have re fucking Rebarama up or something? Okay. Head down to the labyrinth. Okay, because it's time for a long-ass boss fight at our, our strength. If I felt like grinding for a while, this fight would be a lot easier, but I want to see if I could do it at this point. Okay, party. Turn stock. Summon. Daisojo. Da, 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 da. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot she has might. Hmm. Okay, Daisojo, summon up. Who else knows Suku Kaja? Anyone? No is the answer. Okay, so party, summon up. Uh, Kuhulan. I kind of wish I had Takunda, but we don't, so we're going to have to make do. And for our last slot, let's go with Odin. Okay, and I'm gonna keep on uh, the mana until I get actually got it. Until I actually get to the exit. That way, when I run into random encounters, because you know I am, I at the very least can level up the Magatama and get another skill. Hey, other than some bonus items and things I forgot. I think that was a perfect run. Float ball, bomb of rising. <sighs> okay then. At the very least, at this point, it's a quick shot to the end. He's, I say before I get to 20 million random encounters, it takes longer than five minutes. Phone goes. Man, yeah, there's nothing but spam anyway. Spam, snowshoe. Fuck. Fuck off, you worthless cocksuckers. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Okay, in we go. The road to hell. That's perfectly fine. We just go forward. That works. Wow. I might as well use it. That way I can actually just start off fresh. Now watch me not get into a battle. There we go. 
That's an easy one, too. Oh, not debilitate. Wow, he dodged. Impressive for a goat man on his ass. Okay, there's my level. Magic. Endure. Survive a fatal blow of one HP remaining once per battle. And we're going to replace Oni Kagura. Because that's actually a nice, a nice skill to have. Come on, back wildly sure. And we got para paralyzed. Heard shit ton of scratching sounds. Hear those are squirrels on the wall? Or chipmunks, I'm not sure which. Or someone stretch on my door wanting to get in. Well, not this moment. Get rid of stun. Okay, we're gonna swap Magatama to or to nullify light. Question is, which one would be, be best? Let's see, two, two, four, three, three, one, two, five, seven, four, one, one, two, two, eight, one, one, four, zero, two. Yeah, I think this was the best shot we got. Let's view the cutscene. restored all of the menorahs to their rightful places. I promised earlier that I would answer all of your questions, sparing no detail. It may have occurred to you that the menorahs were not, in fact, stolen. Yeah, I kind of figured that from uh, Beelzebub telling us. In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I must apologize for not being honest with you. But there is a reason. If you listen to what I have to say, I am sure you will understand. The forces of light and darkness have fought throughout the universe, even beyond the flow of time. Their battles have affected every living being in existence. Demons and humans are no exception. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos, one that would inherit his will and enter the final battle against the forces of light.
The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction. The black hope that we had awaited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. The fiends and the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. One fiend challenged you, unaware of the truth, while another fiend fell to you, dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes, this was all in preparation for the final battle. You have vanquished all the fiends, and now here you stand, just as he hoped. A demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. So, will you lend your strength to us, for the sake of all who live in darkness? I cannot force you to help us. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But, if you have doubts about the laws of the universe, about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One, then you should come to us at the very bottom of the labyrinth. There, you shall be born again as a full demon, body and soul. Let me conclude by telling you about a human who has crossed your path. One who is drifting, being kept alive by fate. It is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take. The man I am referring to was known as Hijiri in your previous world. He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Think back to when you first met him, to when the conception occurred. Hijiri shared the fate of all the others who perished in the dawning chaos. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began, and his life ended. Did it not seem odd to you that he was in the Vortex world, unaffected, unchanged? It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. He was a being toyed with by fate, denied the respite of death, and condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world, to record the balance of events through all the ages. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup. He was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. Gee, I wonder what he did to deserve this fate from somebody up high. Man can change the course of his next life by virtue of his karma, but that privilege was taken away from Hijiri. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. He must continue on with his task. He lives a cursed, eternal life, just like a demon. Watch and record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. Do you understand now? By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment, and emerged in the Vortex world without realizing that he had died. Soon after, your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception, and has acted accordingly. As for the result of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, Hijiri challenged those vying for creation, and he lost his body once again. He 
He is now on a journey to a new land of suffering, but his will can never be freed, and his sin never redeemed. Do you want your life to be predestined as well? Or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny, if you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please, come visit my master. You can open the door ahead with the menorah I gave you. Will you come meet my master? I will, I can- Of course we will! Then, we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. Hell no! Slay the fate, fuck that bullshit! I will open the way to the last door. Please use the menorah and come see us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then... Goodbye! We'll see you next time. Now, I'm going to hold off on revealing who who eh, who Hijiri actually is, because as you, as you could see, he's been suffering through the cycle of reincarnation for an unforgivable sin, and his punishment is to watch the war of law and chaos for all eternity. So, yeah. He's trapped in an endless cycle of reincarnation because of some divine asshole. Yeah, and the sad part is he doesn't remember shit about it, which sucks. Anyway, I will save the revelation of who he is until we, uh, or rather, who it's suspected that he is, because I don't think it's ever actually been confirmed, to my knowledge. Oh yeah, this one has fucking things that go in the reverse as well. Oh, goody, it spins, too. Ow. Could you fuckers stop with the bullshit, please? Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until we get the final uh, cutscene down here for to lay some down some revelations. Okay, now... We're in the fifth Kalpa. If I remember correctly, it's as soon as we enter that door. Huge pedestal. Or am I misremembering where we actually do this? The menorah has been lit, the door is open. Because I swear to God, we fight him, fight this boss as soon as we enter that door. But is my memory being stupid? Let's find out. I mean, I could look this up and just find out real fast, but where's the fun in that? At least the shortcut is opened. Our goals are the same, just as I thought. Hey, Dante. Demon or not, you've got one hell of a pair. Honestly, I never thought you'd make it this far. How'd you get down here? But shit's gonna get even worse from now on. We're talking knee-deep here, and we're gonna be wading in it from here to kingdom come. Thought maybe you could use an extra hand. Like a devil hunter, for instance. He's offering his services. But seriously, a demon slayer hired by a demon. Oh, like that's nothing new there, Dante. You've done this before. It's the joke of the century, don't you think? So, how about it? You're hired. I don't need your help. <laughs> All right, then. Let's talk business. And here comes an interesting event turn of events. I usually charge a ridiculous amount of money. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Let's flip a coin. Heads or tails? If you win, you owe me a dollar. Oh, uh, yeah, it's maca here, isn't it? Hey, give me one maca then. But if you lose, you'll have to give me half of what you've got. Call it, heads or tails? 
Now, if you played Devil May Cry 2, you know this gimmick. But if you never played it, well, I'll give you a hint. Always pick heads. No matter what, always pick heads. Heads it is. You're lucky, kid. Okay, you get the special discount price of one maca. Thank you very much. Starting today, I work for you. I wonder if you could ever come down here with nothing. <laughs> so, what's your name? Hmm. I see. Not a bad name. Okay. How about we go pay a visit to the ruler of hell? Maybe take some demon heads as souvenirs. The final battle between the army of God and the devil's legions. This ought to be interesting. Oh, well, you'll be a good spectator at least, Dante. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure... <laughs> That you are one of the strongest entities that's in this universe. <laughs> okay, so my memory is playing tricks on me. We don't fight the boss yet. Instead, we have to go through the Kalpa first. Okay. That is a load off my shoulders. But now, we have Dante, level 80. So yeah, that solves my Dakunda problem. Um... Kuhal and you can rest for a while. Dante, come on in. I need to see your skill set. Ebony and Ivory, multiple physical damage to one foe. Rebellion, high physical damage to one foe. High crit rates, spam this shit. Round trip, high electric damage to all foes. High force damage to all foes. Holy Star. Dakunda. Provoke. Never yield. Intimidation. Persuasion and ind indecisive demon. Yeah, okay, just have the son of Sparta just intimidate a poor bastard. <laughs> That works. <laughs> of course, Dante and Devil May Cry 2 is a mix between him and Virgil in terms of personality, at the very least. At least that's how he acts. Of course, Dante in this game has more dialogue that he speaks than he does in the entirety of Devil May Cry 2. And I mean both discs. Yes, I played Devil May Cry 2. I've beaten both discs. I actually like Devil May Cry 2. Sue me. In terms of gameplay, I think it's better than Devil May Cry 1. And of course, 3 is the best. 4 is meh, and I haven't played 5 to make a decisive conclusion on that game. And DMC is a uh, reboot spin-off who deserves its own category. Now you see why we have Dante with us. We're fighting against Lilith now. Um... Ah, oh, I sort of figured that with Dante having his current voice actor, they wouldn't use the Devil May Cry 2 noise voice actor. Ah, oh. the nostalgia is real. But okay. Yeah, Dante is a extreme powerhouse upgrade for our party. <laughs> Considering that we're level 78 because of uh, tome shenanigans, but everyone else's levels are to be expected, really. Because, you know, mid-60s, early 70s, that's what your party's supposed to be at at the point of the story that we're at. Of course, down here... We kind of need to be level 80 or higher to survive very well. Anyway, what am I doing in the pause menu? Oh yeah, I'm swapping back Magatama. Because since I uh, forgot that the boss fight happens at the end of the cow butt, not beforehand like I thought it did because my brain is stupid, we get to explore the fifth cow before we get into bullshit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes! I need to find a certain door. I need to find a special door. 
better pay close attention or you'll get lost. Even if you think you found a dead end, make absolutely sure before you try another direction. Well, that's my advice. Choose to follow it if you wish. I need to find a special door. So you have made it to the last Kalpa. This is where the women loyal to our master gather. You have done well in meeting his expectations. But if you under underestimate us, you will not live to regret it. Thanks, lady. And she's not king. There's a bunch of female demons down here, which is hilarious. Because you haven't figured it out by now, Lucifer is the old man and the child. You're almost to the very bottom of the labyrinth. Our master is waiting there. Don't give up now. I find it hilarious that Lucifer has a harem of female demons down here, even though that makes no sense. Ugh. No thanks. I bet I'm not to do an old hag. Uh, let's be nice. Here's a token of my appreciation. Hey, full heal, take it. Um, let's go right. Because this is our very special door. Oh, illusionary walls. Wonderful. Man, what a party this is. A half demon who's gonna become a full demon, a dead priest, the fucking chief god of Norse mythology, and Dante. What a team this is. This is the kind of crazy shit that I like about this game, that the fact is that all these mythological figures and bullshit can just exist at the same time. It's awesome. We obtained a bead. Okay. Yay! Oh, we found a liar that leads down. Not yet. Really wish I could recruit you girls, but I can't. Uh, round trip! That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Although, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of design-wise, I prefer Loki's design from per, uh, the Persona 4 onwards, and I actually prefer Odin's redesign in uh, SMT4 Apocalypse. Maybe yeah, because I think it looks badass. Really? Motherfuckers. Okay, that way's a dead end. Okay, where am, am I on the map? I don't know, I'm fighting more women! Uh, of course. Oh yeah, the XCD blocks, I forgot. Oh no, retaliate, whatever shall we do? We'll punch her out of existence. Really? Of course, because we're fighting random female demons, their levels ain't really anything special. I forgot to see what Dante's resistances are. Strong physical magic, always good. No light, dark, and ailments. <laughs> so yeah. Dante is gonna be very useful. Okay, we're back here now. Okay, so one way door, got it. What about down here though? Where does this door take me? Yeah, you can definitely tell which one's a fake wall based on the uh, color of the veins on the on the thing. Okay, yeah, that's just one way. 
Aha! New way! One way door again, I bet. Nice try! Gotta love that crit rate. Smart plan there, lady. Have some bullets. That triggers revenge, but the other thing didn't. Okay. Oh, hey, some more life stones. Okay, there's another chest. Lovely. Oh, hey, Queen of Fairies, how you doing? Good thing I didn't get Pasaka back, otherwise I wouldn't have room for Dante, which would have pissed me off. Okay, that way's a dead end. Okay, so we got Mystical Chest here, and here. Which means the only way to progress elsewhere on this floor is through this door. Dead end. I like how his MP regeneration is based on the fucking taunt skill. And goodbye, ladies. Okay, left to right. Let's go left. Ah, hello, what's in here? Another chakra drop for the collection! That's good. It's always a good thing to have more chakra drops. Okay, a liar to leave down. How do you even get to go first? I'm pretty sure our entire team is faster than you. What do I know? I'm just trying not to kill most of the things in here with one punch. Okay, here's another ladder that descends. Another one-way door. Oh, bollocks. Oh, I see what's going on here. They all lead to the same section. I got a feeling that's what the other one's for. Okay, in that case, let us go down the ladder. Oh, this looks great. Ah, oh, now we're getting to strong demons. And I think I finally figured out how to pronounce this. Race Felger. Thanks, Heaven's Ward. Although I'm probably mispronouncing a few syllables. Oh, shit, I forget. It's Baron. What? Uh, does Baron do something to physical? I don't remember. Apparently not. 
Does mind work? Well, the bird's charmed, so that's good. Wrong, what are you weak to? Darkness, of course. Especially with that cheeky ass grin. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Ah, 999. Thanks for the uh, free cash. Now die, bird. Apparently, it resists bullets. And we can't have that. Oh, finally, get some decent experience. But I say decent, but still garbage. Ah, switch. What happens when we press it? Okay, we open up a door. Fair enough. What's down here? Oh, great. Two doors. Oh, I really need more... Not true. Track pipes or what the fuck are they called again? Repulse bells. I need more of those. God damn it, hair in the eyeball. Ah, you fuckers. Okay, might as well keep going down. Ooh. Color change. What's through here? Human, demon, one of insurmountable power. Would you like me to measure the movements of your soul? Imagine you are the mountains. You see someone about to be attacked by a wild animal. The animal begins to maul the defenseless person. As a fellow human, your heart will compel you to chase away the beast and rescue the victim. Ah, but now you're a demon. Suppose you kill the animal with your newfound strength, crushing it with your bare hands. The human would then fear you since you had proven yourself more powerful than a wild animal. With your demonic strength, you could no longer be human. You are more dangerous than a beast. Thanks. You cocksucker. Now where am I? Man, I'm running around like a chicken with a head cut off. Really, I found the door down already. What the fuck? What do you say? Oh, you're a surgeon. No thanks. God damn, where's that fucking door? I'm only looking for one special door, and once I find it, we can leave. Fuck it, this auto fight. Uh, 
Down, down, deeper and down we go. Oh, hey, a genie. Somewhere in here are doors that'll test your demons. They test various attributes and may even kill a demon if they are inclined to do so. Some will ask for a specific demon to put on the chopping block. If you want to go on ahead, be sure to bring a variety of demons with you. Oh, joy. What do you want? If you wish to pass, what one of your great what let one a great magic step forward? I'll give a hang on a second. Yeah, I think this is I think this is here. Bring me with light, step forward. Oh wait a minute. I don't think I have the requisite demons for this. There's one special door I need. One of great strength. Want a great luck? No. Oh, what the hell? Oh, because my dumbass refuses to check a fucking map. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, one-way doors. That's good. Oh, come on. Seriously? And goodbye. Yeah. Another wagtail plume for the collection that I don't need. Great magic, huh? Well, who has the highest magic stat? It's Daisojo. Select a different demon. Present this demon. Your comrade's magic is admirable indeed. You may pass. This is how we get extra treasure. But there's one specific door that we need to find. The thing is, I don't remember where it's at. This door? Uh, race Felger. Um... No shocking. What were you weak to again? Fire. Figures, right? Oh, he didn't drop the cash. I was kind of hoping he would. Bye bye, bird. If you wish to pass, what one of great agility step forward? Okay. God damn it, where the fuck is that door? I know it's down here. I just forget where. Oh, it's you two. No thanks, not right now. I'll make use of your services after I find the cer a certain door. Okay, agility, huh? Who's the fastest? 23. 
19, 18, 17, 18. Dante. Dante is higher than Daisojo by two points. Okay, let's do this. No. 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 Oh, we can't use Dante. Oh well. Daisojo again? No. Your karma show does not meet my expectations. Be gone! Oh, he kicked us back to the entrance. And he killed Daisojo for it too, you bastard. Okay, well that just happened. Brimming with light. We do not- this one requires a specific demon that we don't have. Okay. I guess we do these two doors. Great luck. Okay, who was the lucky one? Black Frost. Unfortunately, we can't just, uh, you know, have it all select the best demon for this door. We gotta go through the entire list. Alright, his, uh, his luck is I'm real he may pass. Oh, come on! I just stepped through the fucking door, you asshole. That's Yata Garasu. Great. Okay, none of them are weak to electricity, like I hoped. But hey, free crits, I'll take it. Okay, that's just a, another door. It's down here. Anything? Oh, hey, free item. And that's a mystical chest. Son of a bitch. Seriously, enough with the fighting! Ugh. Seriously. A stoma should be an automatic skill based on your party's fucking level. So you have to stop running into weak shit. No! You can't have that. Well, this was a dead end door. In that case, we gotta go through this one, then. What do you say? If you wish to pass, let one whose soul is black step forward. Don't have the demon for this, either. The black and shining doors require very specific demons, which we don't have. I could get the black one, but it's gonna take some time to get the... Fusion materials in this was a one-way door as well. Motherfucker! Oh god, why? Why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this hassle and not using a fucking map? Why am I putting myself through this hassle and not having fucking repulse bells? I should have bought them. Oh hey, Fornius. Goodbye. I was paying attention to the stingrays. Thanks for the aquamarine. Get out of here. You weak ass starfish. Starfish? Stingray. Manta ray. Abomination. Whatever. Okay, okay, that's the light door. We can't do that one. There's one other door. 
Yeah, over here. What's your requisite? Great strength. Okay, what demon has the highest strength stat? 23, 25, 24, 24, 24, 26, 21, 22. The answer is Kuhalad. Different demon, different demon, different demon, different demon, different demon, different demon, different demon. There we go. Sent this demon. Damn. Ow. Well, we can't progress forward on this section of the fourth basement, which means we have to go back up. <sighs> which means I'm not gonna be finding that cer finding that certain door yet. It's probably on the other s on the other path that I did not take, because why would it? Uh, and oh crap. I forget where the girls are to take me back upstairs. Oh, wait a minute. They're over here. What am I doing? What were you again? Oh, yeah. Great magic. Hey, ladies. Give me the booze, Slidden. Let's go. Hey, they teleport straight to the top. I'll take it. Ugh. Mainly because I have less than two minutes remaining on the clock, so I'm just going to call it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been no god 21 This has been Let's Play Nocturne HD Remaster. Next episode, we're going to continue exploring the fifth Kalpa and see what we can find. Once I find a specific door, my plans for Pixie shall become apparent. Because there was a reason why I kept Pixie around this long, and that reason is in the fifth Kalpa. Th now that we can say... Now I can say that because we actually got to the fifth Kalpa. This is why I've kept Pixie around for so long. Even as a high pixie. I mean, technically at this point, I could have her evolve into her next stage of evolution to get her more, get her some better skills, but... Eh, I don't feel like it. But anyway, we'll continue our exploration in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time!